Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing something new. We're testing out some brand new Chantecai makeup products. Now, this is a brand that's new to me. I know a lot of you already love this brand, but I have never tested out their products before, so it's going to be a new fun experience for me. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming along this makeup journey with me. And if you are one of the many new subscribers to my channel, thank you so much for coming along. I love luxury and high-end makeup. If you are a returning subscriber, that is no surprise, no shock, but if you are new to my channel, um, I hope you enjoy luxury and high-end makeup because that is all that I test out basically. I love luxury makeup, I love Chanel especially, and whenever I get new collections, I love to create several different looks with the same products. So those of you at home who pick up the same products as me or similar, you will discover multiple different ways to wear your products. That way you really get the most bang for your buck because oftentimes when we buy products, they look beautiful in store and then they come home with us and they just sit on the shelf for a long time because we don't know what to do. So if ever you've been in that situation, I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel because I really walk you through step by step how to use up all of your luxury makeup. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a second to pause. Let's grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee or whatever you wanna drink. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So from the Chantec Guy Summer 2019 collection, I picked up two items. I picked up their Aqua Blush. I picked up the shade called Marigold. It's described as a warm, wearable coral with a gentle sparkle. And this retails at 59 Canadian plus tax. I also picked up the Chantecai Lip Fail Lipstick. I picked up the shade called Frangipan, which is described as a vibrant coral. And this one retails at 65 Canadian plus tax. Both of these items are designated as cruelty-free and having no animal testing. So first of all, let's talk about the outside packaging. The first thing that I've noticed with their packaging here is how incredibly sturdy it feels, especially this lip veil. It feels like cardboard and there seems to be an extra layer on the inside. As you can see here, if I pull it out, there's this extra shell here that feels very sturdy and heavy duty. I think that if you're someone who travels a lot, maybe you should keep these boxes and put your makeup back in there so you can protect them a bit more because we all know when we travel, um, our makeup gets a bit of wear and tear from all the travel basically. So I might recommend you keep these if you do travel a lot. If not, you just throw them out. But it's just something that I noticed immediately that the packaging seems to be a little bit extra. And the same goes for the blush as well. Let me see if I can pull it out. There we go. There's like this inside shell protection here. So this feels more heavy duty. And as you can see, the outside packaging is red, it's beautiful, it's very eye-catching, and it matches the inside packaging as well. Let's start off by talking about the Aqua Blush in the shade Marigold. So there are two protective cases, I guess, with this blush. There's the outside one that twists off, and then on the inside there's an extra layer. Now it says to keep this one, I'm assuming it's to make sure that it doesn't dry out and stays fresh. So just make sure to keep this extra little tab here. It pulls out. So when I first saw this blush, I immediately thought of the new Guerlain blushes. I don't know if you guys have seen those recently, but they look identical, they have the same packaging, except the Guerlain one has a little swirl. I didn't pick up any of the Guerlain blushes, but my friend Angela Van Rose did, and I think Enico Vida did as well. So if you wanna check those out, go see them. But when I first see this, this is exactly what I think of. I think of the Guerlain blushes. So if you happen to have both of the Chantecai and Guerlain, please let us know down in the comments what you think. So this has zero scent whatsoever. It doesn't even have a cosmetic scent, it's just neutral. And one thing I was curious about is because when I first saw this, this to me looks very small. I'm, I was thinking, you know, Chantecai is a very luxurious brand, it's quite expensive, but this looks like so little product. And underneath here, it says that it, it is 8.5 grams. So I, thought it, so I thought I would compare it to my Westman Atelier blush stick, which is one of my favorite cream blushes. But this one here is only six grams. So when you first see these, just to compare, you'd think that a blush stick like this would have more product than this. I thought so anyway, but this one actually holds more product. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out because that was very interesting because yeah, when I first saw the little pot of the Chantecai blush, I was like, that's so little product, 
but actually it's more product than in the blush stick. Anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and read the description of the Aqua Blush. So it is described as a cooling, water-charged sheer blush that gives cheeks a pop of color with a dewy, natural finish. Now when it says sheer blush, I'm wondering how sheer it's going to go. Am I going to have to build up a lot or is it going to be more natural? So let's go ahead and just test this out with you guys here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this like I do most cream blushes. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brush. I'm going to dip into the product and then apply it because I find that that's the best way to get the color payoff that I want. interesting it almost feels wet at first not like too wet I don't know how to describe it but it definitely feels like aqua blush it's well it's described as a cooling water charged sheer blush and it does feel like there's water so this is one layer of the blush I definitely do think it is quite sheer it does take a little bit to build it up but as you can see it is building and I wish I could like I wish you guys could test this out with me because it really as soon as I put it on my cheek it literally feels like wet it feels like water but then it doesn't feel like water afterwards like now it's fine but just directly when I'm putting the product on my cheek it feels like water interesting and it does feel like cold water so I do understand what they mean with that cooling sensation or cool cooling water charged yeah Definitely. So this is the blush here on the cheeks. It is beautiful and I can't get over that water cooling sensation. It feels really interesting. I've never experienced that with a blush before. It's really neat. And the color itself is beautiful. It's a nice little coral flush of color. There is a little bit of dewiness, but not as much as I thought, especially for an aqua dewy blush. I thought it could be a little bit more dewy. I'm thinking of like the Westman Atelier blush stick and also the Dior Luminizer blushes. I think those are a bit more radiant, but that being said, there is a bit of radiance. So if you are looking for um, a blush that's going to be a, like a bit of a blush and highlighter two-in-one if you have more dry skin and more mature skin or if you just like to do a blush and highlighter two-in-one and you don't want to mess around with both at eight o'clock in the morning on a Monday I understand so yeah this is what the blush looks like let's move on to the lip fail lipstick so the lip fail lipstick also has the red packaging that matches the lipstick here the only thing that's different is that this one has elephants on the outside and on the inside oh i should mention actually that the packaging of the aqua blush has little waves on the outside i'm not sure if that's to signify you know the aqua water blush but there's no there are no waves on the outside packaging here anyway back to the lip veil there's a little pamphlet here talking about wildlife conservation, talking about the Chantecaille and the elephant family, because there's something written here on the side of the box. It says, Fair Wild. So from what I understand, every purchase of a Lip Veil product helps support an organization called Elephant Family, which is a wildlife conservation for elephants. So if you buy this Lip Veil, you are helping the elephants. So again, I have the shade called Frangipan, which is described as a vibrant coral. It's described as a lightweight, creamy lipstick enriched with organic baobab oil that leaves a luminous veil of pure, hydrating color on lips. Again, this has a zero scent, not even a cosmetic smell. So the outside of this bullet lipstick is beautiful. You have the Chantecaille logo on the side and you have the elephant on the cap here. Again, that red is so eye-catching and it just draws you in. It's so beautiful. So let's go ahead and test this one out. So I'm quite impressed because the texture of this feels very different than any other brand I've ever tried before. It feels very different from the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash, it feels different than the Dior Lip Glows, it feels different from the Gucci um, Lip Veils as well. It feels very lightweight but also hydrating at the same time and the color is beautiful. I feel like the color I have right now is not the initial color that I had on my lips. I feel like it took a moment for it to kind of mingle with my lips uh, color and lip ph to kind of get the color that we have now because at first i thought it looked a bit more pink than i wanted to but now it seems to be 
mellowing out into a bit more orange and just matching the blush a bit better. I love this sort of shade for the summer. I love anything orange and coral and especially in the summer it's just such a fun color but I love a lip veil or a very lightweight lipstick because it means that you can apply it without a mirror you don't need a lip liner you can apply it very easily and it looks beautiful I'm honestly very impressed with how opaque this lipstick is because when you think of a lip veil you sometimes think of a tinted lip balm but this is almost a lip veil halfway to a satin finish lipstick because it almost feels like a satin finish lipstick that's very creamy and hydrating and it's almost like a very sheer satin lipstick if that makes sense because it's definitely more opaque than a regular lip veil but then again Chantecaille is new to me so maybe all of their lip veils are this opaque but it's very nice like I like this sort of texture I like this sort of color payoff and it feels very moisturizing it feels like a chapstick it doesn't really feel like I have anything on my lips so yeah I really like this lip veil I really like this aqua blush I love that cooling water sensation it's very neat if you can test it out in store I highly recommend you try it because it's really interesting I think this lip veil color is beautiful I love bold bright colors and this is definitely not like the flashiest color that I own but I think it's really nice for the warmer months and again since it isn't too dark you can just apply it really easily without needing a mirror and that's always very handy the blush is beautiful this blush and lip duo work really well together I went on the Chantecaille Instagram page because I wanted to see more swatches and on their page you could see which aqua blushes they paired with which lip veil because there were three aqua blushes and three lip veils to choose from and I think they are different tones and different colors so I went according to them and that's how I matched the marigold aqua blush with the frangipan lip veil and I think it works really nicely together so overall I'm really impressed with both of these products I think it's really interesting the texture of the cooling aqua blush I, I keep talking about it but it's really interesting because I love when luxury brands come out with something just a little bit different you know I know that I love luxury makeup and I'm willing to buy luxury makeup but Whenever brands do a little extra, do a little something special, that means that they're paying attention to their customer and they're not just like throwing out product after product, they're trying to do something interesting that captures our attention. So that blush really got my attention. I love this lip veil, not only for the color and the comfort, but also the fact that it has a beautiful packaging and this cute little elephant. I think if you pull this out of your purse at a brunch, everyone's gonna ask you what you're wearing on your lips. So for those of you who are curious, there are also two bronzers available in this collection. I decided to skip the bronzer because quite frankly, I go through bronzers very, very slowly. I think it's one of those makeup items that I have the hardest time going through or using up. So I didn't pick this one up because it did look beautiful. It had waves on it. It looks stunning. I'm sure it's beautiful, but it's just not an item that really got my attention. I think Michelle Wong picked up the bronzer and I think maybe Erin Nicole TV did as well. So if you wanna go check them out, they can show you the bronzers. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed discovering Chantecaille makeup with me. Please let me know down in the comments if you've used Chantecaille makeup. What are your favorites? What are some items from Chantecaille that I should discover? I am new to this brand, so please let me know what else I should try from this brand. I am very curious. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video and you can see more videos like these. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. It always means a lot to me when you watch my videos because there are so many videos to watch and we have so many things to do in our day. So when you take the time out of your day to watch my video, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. On that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.